And we have come to our last continent. So the Oceania Pact did come out recently, but the continent itself has at least 20 remaining species that can be added. There are, of course, several others um, that myself personally could throw into this list, like freshwater crocodiles, but surprisingly, the freshwater crocodile isn't even on the Meta Wish list, which I find a little bit surprising, but nonetheless, these are the top 20 animals from Oceania. First up is the Goodfellows tree kangaroo, a missed opportunity for the Oceania pack, as well as its cousin that we'll get to later. But nonetheless, it will be coming into the game eventually, like it's at number four. The short-beaked echidna, the, one of the last monotremes we could expect, and if not the last, because there is an, a long-beaked echidna, I believe it's the eastern long-beaked echidna, um, in captivity at the Taronga Zoo in Sydney. Um, it's backstage currently due to, I think the nocturnal house is getting a bit of a redo. But it is the only one outside of Papua New Guinea, and they did not successfully breed. But that hasn't stopped Frontier before from adding the brown-throated sloth. But um, yeah, short beak to kinder is the last monotreme I could expect seeing in the game. The Mashi's tree kangaroo at 34. This is the cousin to the good fellows I was talking about. Um, both are equally likely to make it into the game as they both have very similar color coloration. This one. Is not a good example, but there are several Matskis tree kangaroos. Is it Matskis or Matchies? Matchies sounds a bit better. But um, anyway. <laughs> um, Parenti, Australia's largest lizard, at 66. The green sea turtle at 68. The coconut crab at 80. The black swan at 83. The South Island Takahi at 122, another iconic New Zealand bird. Um, the yellow-footed rock wallaby at 126. This this one personally, I would really love to see in the game. Um, just the rock mechanics for the rock wallaby would be fun to watch. Um, the numbats at 135. Numbats are fun fact: the thylacine or Tasmanian tiger's last living relative. Well, at least the closest relative. That's what I had. Um, Victoria Crown Pigeon at 140. The Lace Monitor at 157. The Kakapo, not currently in captivity, I don't think, although they can be somewhat counted as semi captive and are successfully kept at the Auckland Zoo when they do veterinary checks on these birds, but they are also one of the only. The, if not the only flightless parrot in the world. And they sit at 158. The Greater Bilby, or Australian Easter Bunny, is 174. The Tiger Quoll, 188. These ones would be fun to have. Um, yeah, they're very similar to Tasmanian Devils in their demeanour and the fact they can open their jaws to a very similar width. But they also climb trees pretty well, so... That would be one of the only differences they have. Um, the common spotted cuscus at 222. I haven't seen one of these before, but um, I know they exist, <laughs> both from northern Australia and Papua New Guinea. Would be an interesting one to see. The Sulawesi bear cuscus is also an option, although that's kind of more Asia. The common brush tail possum at 233. They are invasive in New Zealand, but in Australia they are, in fact, native. And they had to come from somewhere, right? Um, Eastern Grey Kangaroo at 243. The most common species of kangaroo on the eastern coast. But, um, yeah, Western Greys, I know, are very common overseas in zoos. But Eastern Grey, due to its familiarity to myself personally, would be a fun addition to see. Just more kangaroos and macropods, aka large-footed animals, um, are always welcome into the game. The Cargoo of New Caledonia at 265. And lastly, the Palmer Wallaby at 280. And that wraps up um, Oceania and this little mini-series. I hope you enjoyed just going through the Meta Wishlist animals and seeing what's on offer. 
in my top selections for these continents. As you get further down the list, the animals become much, much more obscure. Yeah. <laughs> but this was a fun little thing for me to do, just to um, fill the void of um, videos that have been quite absent of late. But I'm trying, when I'm on holiday, to be able to give you more videos on a semi-regular basis. But for now, that this has been Red Panda Reggie for Animal Speculation for Plant Zoo. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.